I said I would never go to Facebook with my problems. But y'all need to hear this. I'm working four motherfucking jobs busting my motherfucking ass, man. I've been taking care of this girl since she was 19, man. We've been living together. I got three motherfucking jobs, man. I ain't never fooled around on or none of that, man. I come home from work tonight. And I knew something went right because I was supposed to work a double. But I come home from work tonight. And even before I came home, excuse me, I'm out of breath. She keep calling me asking am I working the double, so... I lie and tell her, yeah. Uh, you know, I stick the key in the door. First off, when I, I I get off the bus down the street from the house, I see a car parked in the driveway that I ain't never seen in the driveway before. So, I stick the key in the door, man. I stick the key in the door, man. I walks in and... I, I hear goddamn bad rider running and shit, candles and shit. Candles and shit laid in the bathtub. I walk in this motherfucker, man. It's a goddamn nigga naked, man. A nigga naked, man. Standing in my motherfucking bathroom, man. Standing in my motherfucking bathroom, man. A motherfucking nigga standing in my bathroom naked, man. Standing in my motherfucking bathroom naked, man. Got my bitch up on the sink. Motherfucking candles and shit. Eating that motherfucking pussy, man. So you know what I did? I backed away, man. I went in the kitchen. The tool drawer. I came back. I busted the door. And I bust that bitch in her motherfucking head with this motherfucking hammer. Now this to all you cheating ass bitches out there. Don't fuck around and let your man catch you. You go fuck around and get busted your goddamn head with a hammer. Her goddamn ass laying goddamn in the garage right now. I'm about to cut this bitch up, put her in the trunk. And toss her ass over in the goddamn rip the uh, goddamn... I'm about to toss this bitch in the motherfucking right over there on the Cincinnati Bridge. I'm going into Kentucky. They gonna find this bitch floating by the Bengals practice field. Think I'm playing, man. I, I work too goddamn high for this. The goddamn nigga thought he just was gonna get up out of there. So I bust him in his motherfucking head with a hammer. He fell in the bathtub and I threw the goddamn radio in the tub. He in there burnt up now. All you women out here fucking around on y'all's man, you dirty ass bitches, you ain't no good, you need to be killed. God damn it. And I, after this, I'm putting this on the internet, I'm going down to the police station and tell them, yes, I bust that bitch in the head with a hammer and I threw the goddamn radio in the goddamn tub because they deserved it. God damn it. I can't believe this shit, man. I threw my life away, man. Yes, hello. Baby Blue Ranger here. So, you guys obviously just saw the video. Um, and I don't know if this public indictment of the murder of his lover in question and uh, the man she was having an affair with is completely true or not. I don't know if this is credible or not, if this is a real story. But it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. Because this type of things happen all the time. And I, I just want to speak on the fact that women, a lot of, a lot of these feminists, and um, there was a woman, I don't even want to give her a plug, but there was a woman who made a video about why women love manginas. Because manginas, uh, they understand consent. You know, they blah, blah, blah. Just, just a lot of... She was basically glorifying uh, pussy-begging simp behavior. And what these uh, p women that, that, that teach men to be simps don't understand is that simps eventually turn into this. Um, they eventually will murder you. Because what happens is these men, like, the, like this guy said, he provided for this girl since she was 19. And it was kind of weird to me because that 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 that's something I didn't understand. He he said his position. You took care of the girl. You understand that was your role. You took care of the girl. You know her affections weren't necessarily for you. You were the guy taking care of her. But all of a sudden, when she cheats, and she's young, and, and like she's a young nineteen-year-old, you know, or if if you took care of her for years, let's say she's in her twenties. You honestly think while you're working all day, she's just staying waiting for you to come back? Come on, man. Uh, I mean, a real man would have common sense and understand the deal. And even if you found the girl, you would just say, hey, listen, don't do it in my house. But 
this is the type of behavior that you're going to come across from manginas. They'll eventually lose it because they love the women more than they love themselves. And once that woman betrays them in their mind, they will go out and kill everyone, you know, anyone involved. And uh, this is just a sad situation, if it's true. Um, but this guy needed to love himself. This is uh, the lesson that I've learned from this video. This man needed to love himself because if he loved himself, he would work for himself and he wouldn't work taking care of a woman. And this situation wouldn't even happen to him, you know. I really hope that this man discovered MGTOW, but it's, it's obviously too late for him. But yeah, this should be a lesson that guys shouldn't try to build up resources, work for jobs, for crying out loud. To what, take care of yourself and this girl and then live happily ever after? Stop living in delusional land. This is not how the real world works. These women in their 20s ride the cock carousel. That's just the way it is. Okay? What's wrong with this man? Um... But anyway, I'm, I'm interested to hear your uh, thoughts on it. I don't know, man. Tell me what you think. Do you think, um, did I miss anything? I'm sure I have. You know, I just saw this video. So it's kind of kind of fuzzy. I, I still have to digest it. But I just figured to make I, I make a video anyway about it and uh, just bring it into the MGTOW community. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, this is Baby Blue Ranger. I'll be smart out there, guys. Be smart.